Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Bowie. Today I would like to share with you two dresses featuring a tiered gathered skirt as its main focal point. And today's dresses were inspired by the Garden of Versailles dress that I shared with you in my last video, video 83. Um, so what happened was after that uh, Garden of Versailles dress, I just fell in love with the tiered skirt look. And uh, so in true Billy fashion, I immediately set out to make another one. Uh, but instead of a two-tier skirt, as in that uh, Garden of Versailles dress, I decided I wanted to kick it up a notch, uh, literally. <laughs> so I wanted to do a three-tier skirt. And so that was what I did. So the first dress that I will share with you today is this one here, made from about two and a half yards of about 56 inch wide cotton wool that I purchased from movefabrics.com last year. And uh, so here's a close up look of this print. And as you can see, it's a ditzy floral print and I just love it. It's so girly and in a way, it uh, reminds me of the sort of the print of uh, the Tana Law from Liberty of London. But of course, this is much cheaper. <laughs> and uh, as always, you will find the information about where I sourced my fabrics and also the total cost uh, per garment in the description box below. In terms of the design for this dress, uh, the bodice is a plain uh, bodice, the same bodice that I have been using since my video 78. And the reason for choosing the plain bodice was that I did not know uh, whether the three tiers for that skirt portion would be in a way kind of overwhelming. So I wanted to keep the bodice simple. So that's what I did. And so as mentioned, the skirt for the stress has three tiers. So, uh, so this is what it looks like. So you can see the first tier, second tier, and the third tier. As a result, this dress, the skirt portion is uh, very full. I think it's way past even a full circle skirt at this point. And uh, so this is what it looks like. About the construction of the skirt, just like before, I used the skirt portion from the pattern Very Easy Vogue V9197 uh, for the, the top tier portion. Uh, but of course I shortened it because this tier is only about, I want to say eight inches uh, long as a pattern piece. So this is including the uh, seam allowance. And for the bottom two tiers, they were simply rectangles. Uh, and so that was easy. And if uh, you want more uh, gathering for your tier, you would just cut out a longer strip of fabric uh, versus less. And um, as I mentioned in my last video, video 83, uh, when I had the two tier skirt uh, for that dress, the two tiers were of equal uh, lengths uh, in terms of the, the how long the tier each tier is. But I felt that that equal tier lengths didn't suit my sort of preference. I didn't like the proportion. So for this one, I was kind of testing out what proportions would uh, I would like more. And what I figured out is I would like the tier length to be sort of gradually longer from top to bottom. And uh, so that was what I did. And uh, so in this case, the top tier is about A and the middle tier, I think it's about eight and a half and the bottom tier is nice. So each tier is a half an inch increment. And uh, the idea is that the total finished length of the skirt portion would be about 22 and a half inches because uh, for my measurements that would um, make it make the 
extras uh, sort of knee lengths in my case. And uh, here is a sort of a close-up look of the skirt portion. Uh, so, so you can see here. So the gathering in my case is 1.8 times. So the middle tier is about 1.8 times the the circumference of the top tier and the bottom tier is about 1.8 times the circumference of the middle tier. And uh, as you can see, because you know, cotton wall is quite thin, so it, uh, the skirt didn't puff out as much as I thought. Uh, so it, it's, in a way, it's a fairly muted look uh, for a tiered gather skirt. And so in a way, originally I was afraid that it would be too puffy, and that was why I kept the bodice plain. But now, in hindsight, you know, I could have done a little bit with the bodice, but I still like it very much. But because uh, after I made it up, because it looks a bit plain, I decided to uh, make a waist tie to go with this dress. And so that's what it looks like, you know, a simple waist tie to jazz it up ever so slightly. Even though I also made a, a, a matching belt to go with it. Uh, so I have the option of either using the belt or the waist tie, depending on my mood. I also added uh, inseam pockets uh, for the stress here using the same fabric. However, one problem, well not really a problem, is that because of the top tier lens, the, uh, the opening of the pockets is a bit shorter. So as a result, let me stand back. So as a result, instead of going like this, which you think is a more natural, uh, angle for my arm it you know it, I have to kind of raise up my arm to get in another pocket so in a way it's a bit higher but it's still okay so uh, so that's fine I line this dress uh, with about one and a quarter yards of uh, white rayon viscose chalet that I purchased from fabricwholesaledirect.com and um, and even though I changed up the skirt, uh, really I didn't have to change up the lining pattern piece because I still use the same bodice as uh, the other dresses from before. And uh, so that works out great. So no modification was required uh, for the lining portion. So here is a quick video of this pink uh, ditzy floral print dress. And I paired the dress with a pair of three and a half inch heels in red suede. And I am truly in love with this uh, tiered skirt look. And uh, so I'm really happy uh, that I, in a way, stumbled across this design uh, from my uh, Garden of Versailles Palace dress uh, from my last video. The second dress that I will share with you today is this one here, made from three yards of about 48 inch wide uh, cotton poplin fabric that I purchased from uh, fashionfabricclub.com about two years ago. And uh, so here's a close up look of the gingham print. As you can see, it's a fairly small scale gingham. And uh, even though it was supposed to be black gingham, it looks more navy to me, uh, but in any case, I you know I have no strong preference one or the other, so I'm very happy about this fabric. For this dress, I changed up a little bit in terms of design from the pink uh, ditzy floral dress earlier. So uh, because the tear skirt wasn't as uh, puffy as I had feared, I decided I could uh, be a bit playful with the bodice in this case. So here I use the pleated neckline uh, bodice that I shared with you uh, in my video 81 and 82. And it's a self-drafted bodice uh, that I uh, did following the tutorial of a YouTube tutorial. And I will also link that tutorial in the description box below. So that is the bodice portion. And for the skirt portion, it also uh, has 
three tiers here. But as you can see, this dress, the skirt portion is fuller in this one. And there are two reasons for that. Uh, number one is that uh, this being cotton poplin is a bit thicker, so it naturally has more body to support the, uh, the gathering. So it would just puff up a little more. So just that's just the nature of the fabric. So that's number one. And number two is because I have plenty of this fabric, I actually uh, purchased uh, four yards of this fabric. And so I, I have plenty of fabric to work with. And so what I did was I decided on a two to one ratio for gathering. And so, so that means the middle tier is double the, the circumference of the top tier and the bottom tier is double the circumference of the middle tier so as a result uh it really is quite full and i'm really i'm really happy about the effect in a way i like the fuller skirt better uh from this version versus the uh dc floral uh version earlier and uh so that's number two for this dress i further refined the uh the lengths of different tiers so now this i think is my final version of the tier proportions and i'm incredibly happy how it turned out uh so here um this is i'm pairing oh by the way i'm pairing this dress with a simple belt uh that i made uh and then you you can find the uh, tutorial for this belt in my video 77. So here, uh, let me show you the skirt. So here, I further refine the proportions of the tiers. So the final uh, proportions is that each tier is, the pattern piece is one inch uh, longer than the tier earlier. So for example, this tier, the pattern piece itself, is seven and a half inches long in this, you know, this way, length. And the middle tier is eight and a half, and the bottom tier is nine and a half. And so that's what I did. And uh, I am really, I mean, I think this proportion is exactly what I like. I think it's very pleasing to the eye that the tiers uh, get longer as I go down. Uh, so that was, uh, so that, that was what I uh, settled on um, after experimenting earlier. About the design of the tear skirt look, it seems to be in this year because I seem to see a lot of it uh, in the display window of stores when I walk by and also when I just browse online uh, for, you know, on the websites of high-end stores. And uh, the two things jumped out uh, when I look at you know those dresses. Number one is the gathering is not very gathered in the sense that the gathering you know such as this is somewhat sparse. Uh, you know, for for example, you know I am very happy about how full this skirt is, and that's because there's a lot of fabric that I gathered um, into this skirt, and. Uh, so the skirts that I saw were just not very gathered. And I think number one is because uh, obviously it's a fairly labor intensive project, even though I'm sure they all use industrial uh, gathering uh, foot or machines. Uh, but still it's an extra step uh, in the manufacturing process. Uh, so that's kind of number one. And number two was I was surprised by the amount of fabric that was required to uh, make this tiered gather skirt look. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this dress took uh, three yards of uh, 48 inch wide uh, fabric. And really the majority of it was used up uh, to make that skirt because the bodice really is not even a uh, half a yard of fabric. And uh, really just, just because all that gathering really requires a lot of fabric. And so of course, you know, if you are manufacturing to a certain cost uh, point, uh, it is cheaper obviously to have less gathering than 
more gathering. And that is the case regardless of the price point the dress uh, is sold for. So in a way, I, that's why I'm just really loving making my own dress because I can make it whichever way I like without really breaking the bank. Uh, so that is another reason why I really love sewing uh, as a hobby. So here is a quick video of this gingham dress. And I paired the dress with a pair of uh, heels uh, in black. And I am really happy about the pairing of the fabric and this design. Um, originally, normally, this is not what I would have paired it with, uh, the, the gingham fabric, I mean. Because originally when I bought it, I had meant to make a shirt dress, but I somehow just never got around to it. And then, uh, but when I decided to make this combination of the bodice and the skirt, I decided to use this fabric because uh, it's one of the few pieces of fabric in my stash that I had enough uh, for this very gathered tear skirt. But I'm just truly happy with it and uh, really, really, uh, glad that I stumbled upon this uh, tiered skirt design. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. And I am very happy about how both of the dresses today turned out. Just perfect and uh, in time for the kickoff of the summer season uh, since Memorial Day is just around the corner. And so I would like to wish all my viewers in the U.S. a very happy uh, Memorial Day weekend uh, this coming Monday. And uh, on that note, I hope you would stay safe wherever you are, be well, and I hope I will see you soon. Bye-bye!